What is up, Sooner Nation? It's Friday night and ready for the weekend, right, Jerm? How you doing? Doing good. Heading back, heading back to town tomorrow. So nice, nice. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Already see some comments rolling in here. Uh, CJ Bunker, a uh, little slow start, but another inning where offense just exploded. Yeah, OU softball, fifth inning, seven run spot, uh, just pulled away and dominated. What's up, Teresa? How are you? Mess 12 0 to move every, every night. How about Alina Torres pinch hit Grand Slam? I mean, all right. Alina Torres is, is about uh, as hot as they come when it comes to hitting the ball right now. Sydney Sanders uh, had been leading the way. Now, Torres kind of said, uh, just a second, uh, let, let me show you. Uh, I can take the reins for a little bit. Jay, it does sound like it does sound like tomorrow. Could be a double header. I haven't heard official words yet, though. Storms rolling yeah. in on Sunday. Yeah, Greg, I appreciate the comment, and I'll also appreciate you always being on here. I mean, you guys, Mass, Greg, God, a lot of y'all, CJ, some of you guys already put comments in here. Teresa, Sooner Legends, it, it's because of y'all with your opinions and input. So keep them coming tonight. As we got a show tonight, as we talk about SEC talk, we're going to talk Sooner softball as a. Uh, Kind of get the get revenge a little bit on Baylor with eight one victory. Uh, you know, it, OU right now in, in softball twenty nine and one, and they are pretty much every category except one pretty much doing better than they were last year at this time. So, uh, unbelievable yeah. start to the season. Yeah, uh, Roscoe says Rosc and CJ says another strong outing from Maxwell. Kelly Maxwell has been really good lately. Uh, yeah, Sooner Legends, thanks for joining us. Grand Slams. Was awesome, and then Roscoe said something about March Madness here. Jay, look, uh, SEC looks bad. Texas A&M and got the win though against Nebraska, but which I wanted to see Hoy Alabama, the Alabama. Yeah, but won, they, but they allowed like ninety nine points. Who they allowed like ninety nine points? A hey, sooner legend. Uh, no, thanks didn't. for the super. Thanks for the super. You don't need to apologize for missing an action. I know you've been busy with your podcast. You guys need to check his out as well. Uh, that's right. Hey, they didn't just allow 99 points. It was like 107 and 93 at one point. Seriously? Yes. I, I don't know what the final was. Hey, there's been some, Wait. there's been some blow. There's been some blowouts today, but there's also been some really good games. Hey, Jay, so, my nine-year-old son, my nine-year-old son's in 99.9% .9 of the bracket. He's beating 99.9% .9 of the bracket. Seriously? Who's he got one in all he, Houston? He, I don't know, but he's in so many groups. Right now, he's ninth out of 528,389 in this SEC group. Ninth. Dang, Pretty sick. That's hey, Kansas last night, we were off the live when it happened. Kansas, that was one of the worst calls I've ever seen in a tough situation. I mean, the guy got horrible. horrible. Horrible call. And uh, very disappointed because I think they might have won the game. Uh, yeah, dude from hey, Oakland I'm, hit Trent look, Trace. Hey, I'm let gonna, me say something real quick let me, on the guy from Oakland. Let me say something real quick okay, on the guy Okay, say that, and then I'm going to talk about Chester. Hey, Comment. 10 threes, he's a transfer from a Division two school. He only got one Division one offer in the transfer portal, and that was Oakland. What a store. I mean, guys, Jay, unbelievable. I got a better stat for you, Jay. He took yeah. four dribbles yesterday. He, he had 32 points. He dribbled four times. Yeah. Yeah, Ford unbelievable. Uh, Chester, you're right with your comment. Hey, everyone says, oh, the OU's got tough, tough schedule, but no one's talking about they got to play OU. Let's remember that, too. That's exactly right, Chester Carter. Dropping some truth here tonight. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Thunder win tonight, Blake. Uh, doesn't look like Thunder win easily that. tonight. Dude, how fire is yeah. it going to be when – how fire is it going to be when the NBA postseason's here another one seed? Are you kidding hey, me right now? I know. Hey, Sooner fan, he was driving Uber, and guys, they're not going away. They're going to win their next round game. I, I think. Hey, I got to respond. I, I did see you drop this in the Discord, Eric. And look, the one thing I agree with Baker Mayfield on is with the fact he said that it's going to depend on the line of scrimmage. I'll agree with him on that, but I don't take much stock in what a former – uh, OU player said uh, on a Tampa Bay interview. Sorry. I don't think he knows exactly 
uh, what's going on in Norman either. Exactly. He doesn't, he doesn't know how the pulse of the team exactly right now, but whatever. Jeremy, but don't you think most people would. The trenches. Think, it's going to be a trench. It's going to be a trench. Most thing. people yes. think most, Jeremy, most people think it's going to be a tough for the first few years, probably. Hey, Hey, it is going to be tough. It doesn't mean they Roscoe, can't go nine and three though. Roscoe, they were up nine to zero. I'm sure they won. They were up nine to zero. So. Great Hopefully God. This Oklahoma cool. City Thunder team, this Oklahoma City Thunder team is just like when they had the three-headed monster uh, when it was uh, Durant, Harden, and Westbrook. The difference is this team actually may be more tight than that team was. The chemistry they have is probably the best in the NBA. I agree. And here's the, here's the difference between this team and those teams is there's not a dominant team ahead of them. You're not playing Golden State or the Laker. I mean, right. you are the best team. I mean, that's right, maybe. Jay. That's exactly right. Denver. I think Denver is still the best team, personally. Hey, sooner, sooner, legends. I, I'll explain it to you. I coach basketball, and I say, don't pick up your dribble, especially in the corner. But when you pick up your dribble, you either have to shoot or pass. And if you pick it up too early, you can get double teamed. You're not ready to pass the ball. It causes turnovers, so that's why they say don't want to pick up the dribble too early. You got to keep attacking. Yeah. There, listen, there is not going to be I'm any, not making any, any excuses. There's not going to be any excuses, but I, I think a lot of OU people would probably say they're concerned until this, until next year, until you see it. Now, next year, if they go 9-3, and three, I think a lot of that concern will be like, okay, they're in the right direction. I think people are just on edge about what's going to happen this year. And I think that's fair. I, I think it's fair to be that way. Eric, I know you're a little hesitant. I think that's fair. I really do. You Now, some people mess thinks 12-0. and 0. I mean, hey, we'll see. Uh, what were I, the I major – anybody, hey, Eric, I don't Eric. think anybody's running to the SEC undefeated, personally. What, what are the and major me, concerns that Eichert and, and Lehman have? Major hey, concerns. I, I don't know. I'm sure part of it's line of scrimmage. Probably, probably part of it's the 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 weight and stuff of some of the trenches. Uh, hey, I think the coaching stack it did improve. Uh, I did too. Hey, let me let me ask you a question. Uh, and, and I'd love love to hear the people in the chat with this answer because, I you know, this SEC the way they have it set up now. And the Big Ten, too. I do not like it. I do not like it. I do not like the way the schedule is. I think they need to do divisions. I do. I, I don't think happen. it's. But, but Jeremy, you could have a team that's better than another team, but not get in the playoff because their schedule was brutal. That's how it's been a lot of you years. You don't play everybody. What? That that's been that way in the SEC the entire all, all the time. Yeah, but you can make the SEC championship game win in your side, is what I'm saying. It's all one one division. I don't like it. I'd rather it be split. I, I that's my personal opinion. I'd rather it be split. You play divisions and you play them in the SEC title game. That's what I would rather have. Because I think you're gonna have years where you get a, a really good schedule and maybe that you're a really good team that year, and that's great. But you're gonna get a year where you're gonna get handed a tough schedule based on how teams are. I mean, you look at it right now. Uh, who is I, there's a couple teams, I think AM's one of them. They don't play in actually, yeah, AM's one of them. They don't play Georgia or Alabama or Ole Miss or something. I mean, I just it's just weird. I mean, depending on where it falls and what year you're on, so there's a shadow behind you, Jeremy. Yeah, my son was in here. Uh, is it possible the Sooner basketball team will have better success? in the SEC than the men's football team. I mean, OU should be top four in the in the basketball program. Depends on what happens in the offseason. They should be top four. Depends on what happens in the offseason, Jay. Gary says he thinks 2026 will be divisioned. I hope so. I do. We'll see. And we'll uh, see. what are your thoughts on here, guys? Would you rather it be divisioned or not divisioned? It's going to be unfair any way you drop it, Jay, because you can no, make divisions you unfair. You can make well, divisions I, unfair. You're right, but at least it you won't would matter. know every year. I mean, it won't matter. All-time OU offense, Colin says. Uh, 
I don't know what it says now, Jamie. You moved it. Uh, let, let me see this. Uh, Kyler Murray, uh, sorry, Kyler Murray, quarterback, running back, AD, Joe Mixon, CD. Yeah, I mean, there's other names you could throw in there, especially if you go back to the 70s. I know Sooner Legend Podcast would throw several different names in there, and he wouldn't be wrong. So, yeah, it, it'd be hard to, under, hard to really uh, go with that. But uh, what was that comment from Eric J? Uh, it was about, I wonder if the schedule is so much tougher for Oklahoma than Texas because we talked about the SEC not being such a tough conference. Stoops used to say the SEC is just a top-heavy league. Uh, Stoops wasn't wrong either. I, I think the SEC has Stoops changed wasn't quite wrong, a bit. Jay. What are you saying? You think it's top-heavy? It's it, It's been, it's been top-heavy for years. It's actually getting more parity in it the last year or two. I would now agree. The Miss, be, now the Ole Miss is better. It was Alabama and Georgia and everyone else, or Alabama and LSU no, and everyone else. It was Alabama and LSU, really, because Georgia hadn't really hit their stride yet. Correct. It was kind I of mean, Alabama and LSU. He's not wrong saying it was top-heavy, Jay. I agree. And I think Mez has it right on here. I, I'm not saying it's not going to be tough. If OU goes 9-3... and three, Obviously, it's a pretty brutal schedule, and I'm happy with that. But the other thing is, I don't think anyone's just rolling through like they used to with no, OU and Texas in there. And, and hey, Chuck, that's what we're talking about right now. And he, here's what I'll say too: is that it, it's all going to, and you're going to find out how good Brent Minimal is. We we talked about this before, but there are going to be so many games. I think this year that are going to be very tight games. And if there's one thing you could say about Brent Venables in his first two years, they haven't been that great in close games. OU has not. They've lost a lot of close games. So They've been bad, this year, This year, that's got to be way better. And because I think pretty much once you get to Tennessee, I mean, other than South Carolina, I think pretty much every game is going to be, you're probably going into the fourth quarter, either winning or losing. I mean, you could have yes. a chance to win or lose. I they're all going to be tight. That's look at the games OU's lost the last couple of years. It's been games that they should have won and they lost them late. Uh, Tyler, I'm going to disagree with you a little. Georgia's by far the best team. Correct. I'd say they're the best team behind OU. I think you mean I, other. I, I don't know. I don't have OU ranked second in the SEC right now. I do have OU going nine and three though, playing a really tough schedule. But to say it's Georgia and OU and everyone else, uh, you're wrong on that, Tyler. I respectfully disagree. And I think this is my thing is how are they going to rotate it, right? And what if you play – I mean, it's just kind of also luck. I mean, and and by the way, OU-Michigan 2025, I don't think it's going to happen to you. With that schedule, I don't know if though he's going to play Michigan that year. Why would Michigan want to play it? Why would Michigan want to either? That's correct. Uh, do you th do you I think was, that game's going to be played? What's laughable? What I said, I guess so. Mez says Georgia won OU two. I got OU at three between three and four. Nine and three. I just think there's going to be a log. Jay, I just think there's going to be a log jam at nine and three. Who do you got it to? Golly, I think. Well, I think it's going to be a tied for second through fifth. Is my point. There's not so going to be you, a clear. Do you think second. OU's better than Texas right now? It's tough. Man, to I, I think it's a toss up, Jay. Uh, to say, I mean, to say OU is by far better than Texas, Tyler, you're ridiculous. Sorry. Yeah, I think I, two. I think two through five is a coin flip. It's going to depend on the games. Yeah. Look, look, OU, Texas, Alabama, Mississippi. There's two, three, four, five in my book. Hey, I even I'll, got I'll LSU like Hey, Eric, I'll disagree a little bit with this, and and in the, the fact that. I no, think they the best team in – huh? Yeah, go ahead, Jay. Answer it, and then I'll answer it. I think the best team in the SEC you, that you rank number one may have two losses. That's my opinion. I, that? I think you could be the – I think you could be the best team in the SEC and have two losses. I would not be shocked by that. Would you? 
No. Hey, was the was the fullback uh, Sooner legend looking for Lytle Carr? I don't think he played with Billy Sims, though. I think Lytle Carr was with Jamel Holloway. Uh, Jay. Hey, Eric. I think OU at three could be nine. And, I, I don't understand what you're saying. I think two through five could all be nine and three. I've already went through all their schedules. Two through or five they could, could be, be nine and three. They could be ten and two. I mean. Could be, but. To say third is out of the realm of possibility at nine and three, you're wrong. Third is very much in the realm of possibility at nine and three. Look at the other team schedules as well. I thought Lionel Carr was 45. He wore number 45. They're saying the year, Jay. Kenny uh, King, Richard uh, Schaub says. Lionel Carr played with. Uh, all right, Patrick let's Collins get to this. Too. Jeremy, who's your number one and two right now? I already said. Georgia is one. My second place team is a tie. Texas, OU, Alabama, Ole Miss. Two through five. People. They're all gonna be they're all gonna be right there. So you wouldn't pick a number two. I yet. got LSU six, Missouri seven. Enid High School. That's right, Chuck. Hey, uh I agree. Georgia one. I, I think two. Um, I see what you're saying with toss up and stuff, but I, you can't pick four teams to be number two. So I would go Georgia one. I would probably go, I, it's hard for me to do this, but Texas, maybe two. Yeah. Eric did the same thing. Uh, 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 it's tough. Ole Miss. I think Ole Miss is right there. It's it's a tough man. I, I understand what you're saying, toss up, but you got to pick a team. And based off, here's the thing: Texas did lose a lot of players, but with their schedule, there it is, Mark. Mark just put it in there too. With their schedule, it's hard for me not not to say they're not going to be two. Uh, why did so, hey, like, why if did I had to pick, if I if I had to pick based on schedule where teams are going to end up this year, I would say Georgia one. Texas two, Ole Miss three, Oklahoma four. Why is why is Gray God saying germ really? Are you saying that because I said a tie for second for four teams? Probably because you picked four teams. Chuck, what do you mean Texas? I, I had Texas tied. Look at their schedule, Chuck. Look at their schedule right now. Look at it. I'm just going my it? schedule and what I think. You didn't pick Texas too. I had them tied with OU, Alabama, yeah, Ole Miss. I mean, Mark, I'm with you 1,000. percent I think OU is right there in that third category, and that's why I think. Look at that. Look at that. Every one of those teams you mentioned, Mark, right here. Every team you mentioned, OU plays this year. Every one of them. That's why those games are so key. And then Missouri's not even in there, but they're another one. Uh, and, and that's right. Mark, Texas stays away from some of those. So that is correct. Uh, hey, are you – I think whoever called me out on the having four teams on there, Jay, whoever called me out, first off, I think you're absolutely ridiculously kidding yourself if you don't think there's going to be a log jam at second and third. No, so look at there the is. And look what – I mean, T. Moses said the same thing. But, I mean, we were just asking you to pick who you thought was second. That's all. Yeah, and I gave my answer, Jay. It's going to be a four-way tie. And I, I hope they think, choose OU because of place, schedule I think third place will be the. I think third place will be the log jam, personally. So, you think Texas is at 10-2? and two? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Well... The thing is, we don't really know who it's going to be. I don't know what happened at Phillips University. Uh, Matt says, unless you can definitely defend a team ahead of OU, you can't put any team tied or ahead with OU. Don't hedge your opinion. Believe in OU or believe in a team ranked ahead of OU like Georgia. I I think Mess is agreeing with you there, Jeremy, on the fact that there's going to be a log jam. It's hard for anybody to, you to pick somebody over OU to think they're all no. going to be there together. No, he's saying, Mez is saying that you can't put anyone tied or ahead of OU. 
That's what hey, he guys, I, guys, I'm going to have to see it on the field defensively in Jackson Arnold before I can. And I, what I'm saying is I'm going to have to see about three or four games. I know it's non-conference, but I'm going to have to see something because I can't base it off of one bowl performance uh, with Jackson Arnold. And I, I got to see the defense and, and see who, what they're throwing out, out there. So hey, that, that's my opinion. Hey, I don't believe. What do you mean? I don't believe in log jams. <laughs> I don't love log jams either, but believe it or not, they're going to be there probably with the schedule the way it is. Yeah, mess, mess is being up. And listen, as an OU fan, I want to say that OU is going to go 12 and 0. I do. I just, and they might. Guys, I'm not saying they can't. I'm just saying it's hard for me right now, preseason, to do that. O yeah, U James is putting it o on him. I don't even know what the score is right now. OU did beat Texas physically last year. But, again, outside of the miracle drive, Texas beat OU. Uh, so let's remember that as well. Uh, OU played their best maybe line scrimmage game against the Longhorns. Yes, you're correct. That's right. Four weeks That's right. We are getting on close. And, hey, Gary, it cannot get here soon enough. I mean, it really can't. Uh, That's a hey, that's Gray God. That is a great thing that I think we should talk about tomorrow night. I, I think that's something we should talk about. We, we'll do some research on the SEC, where it lines up, and kind of where OU falls. Uh, mark that, Jeremy. Can you mark that so we remember it? Mark, Mark, tell me again, Jay. Gray God's comment. Blue, yeah, we need, I, I'd like to see that too. Uh, Chester, have a good night. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Hey, let's, let's get to some trivia as we're about halfway through the show. Yeah, um, get to trivia, and then I got a point I want to make. Yeah. All right, before we do, go to fanstop.com, check them out. Use code SURGE, you'll get 10% off your first three months. Uh, great looking shirts. We've talked about it before. Uh, and please go to the fanstop.com. You will not be disappointed. Um, so, this question is a basketball question at the NCAA tournament. Um, so, Last night, the Oakland player, they got 10 three-pointers. He almost set the record. He almost set the record. Uh, a guy by the name of Jeff Fryer holds the record with 11. Jeff Fryer played for Loyola Marymount. We all know Loyola Marymount. Here's the question I want. That was 1990. How many points a game did Loyola Marymount average in 1990? Uh, I don't think this will ever be topped. Remember Hank Gathers, man? Bo Kimball, elite. That, that team, Bo Kimball, Hank Gathers, and Jeff Fryer, all on the same team. All averaged over 23 points a game, by the way. that Can you believe that? Uh, we are getting close. There's some close ones. Someone will guess it in here. Boom, Bobby Googled it up. 124 He's got the wow. point on there. Give him an extra point. Hey, 122 points a game. That's average. That's insane. Yeah, never games. never again, huh? Bo Kimball, I mean, heaven is crazy. a playground. Do you, Jeremy, do you remember who their coach was? Paul Westfall? Correct. Correct. That's what I thought. Also coached Phoenix Suns, didn't he? Uh, Oakland would probably rank about fourth, fifth, and blue chip recruits. Yeah, I would say that's probably close uh, about that. Correct. That's exactly so what let, I was let, let, let me ask you this, Eric, and, and people on here, uh, viewers. How do you think it falls with how many blue chips, where you rank, does that should be where you rank in the SEC for your – should it be the same? If you rank third, should you be third in the SEC at the end of the year? Well, should no, it be because similar? you know it's not how you know that's not how it works, Jay. And Jay, we were wrong. I know, it but Paul, should it be similar? It, should it be? It was Paul Westhead. Yes, that's correct. Correct. Uh, where are the Sooners at tonight? Did I get on the wrong Sooner surge? Uh, what are you talking about, Chuck? Because we're talking about Texas or what? Uh, uh where's the fire? Where's the fire, I, Jeremy? Not, I guess. You, you got to get me fired up, Chuck. It won't take much. Uh, but, Jay, let me say this. What I was going to say a second ago is 
if everyone thinks that the, the year is going to be where OU is just going to go in and walk, the SEC is different. Yes, I agree. But, Jay, even when they won the Natty in 2000, there are games they had to have Sooner Magic. Like, the, there are going to be, in my opinion, four to five games next year where OU, it's going to come down to a drive. I and think here's the deal, the Jeremy. I, wait, I think they have the gunslinger to do it. And okay. I think that's what they've missed the last two years. They have not had the gunslinger. They have not had the guy to strap on, to put him on the back, and carry him to victory. Jackson Arnold's that guy, in my opinion. Okay, there you go, Chuck. Is that better? Is that better, Chuck? Jeremy, but the thing is, say you lose three or four of those games and you end up seven and five. Well, I don't think they're going to lose those. So, but if they do, I, I mean, I, I think it, that's if my ifs thing. and buts were candies and nuts, it'd be Jeremy. Christmas do not say that. You say you say it every freaking time I say an opinion. You say that. You, I don't you, care about it. You bring You're hypotheticals saying, up. You bring hypotheticals. Hypotheticals, Jack, hypotheticals Jackson. Order them be strapping and on carrying you to victories. That's hypothetical too. No, he's got he's got everything the quarterback no, that, needs. Jeremy, that's hypothetical. Well, a lot of hypothetical. Is that hypothetical? I guess, but it, I'm going to ask you a yes question. No. Answer the, answer you the question. If, you ready? No, it's no, not a hypothetical. You tell, you tell me if, if that's if, hypothetical. No, I, I made a comment that wasn't a hypothetical. Jay, let me ask you a question, Jay. Does Jackson Arnold have the arm strength? Yes. Does Jackson Arnold have the size? Yes. Does Jackson Arnold have So did Nate strength? Hibble. So did Nate Hibble. You're comparing Jackson Arnold and Nate Hibble. Okay. No, wow. size and arm strength. Size and arm strength. That's two things you said. Wow. You you said size. You said arm strength. So that's two things. And then you Nate brought Hibble up Nate Hibble. I hadn't even got through everything. Okay, keep going. I could. I'm not going to keep doing it, dude. You're ridiculous. Why? Scared of me now? I see how it is. Backing off. Scared uh, of you? No, Jay. No, I'm not. Uh, Jackson Arnold and Seth on offense and Zach on D bring a lot. I agree with all that, man. That's all I'm saying is it's hypothetical what Jeremy said, and it, well, it is. No, a hypothetical begins with Guys, if, Jay. please, please, if. please. Do not do not take what Jeremy said and, and say that I'm comparing Nate Hibble to Jackson Arnold. I'm not. That's what it sounded like. No, it's not. You said, okay, I'm just saying you can't go off strength and arm strength. Hey, Jay, do you know what a hypothetical is? It's when you start with if. I didn't start with them. I said there's going to be four to five games where OU is going to come down to possession. I think they Bobby, got the guy, the gunslinger. Bobby, you're right. Most people thought Spencer Rattler was going to be that guy. Uh, nah. Spencer Rattler could sling nah. it around the yard, yes. Spencer Spencer Rattler could sling it around the yard, yes. How come Caleb, how come Caleb Williams uh, lost four games last year, whatever it was? Well, their defense was atrocious. He's got to, he could throw him on his back, right? Just throw him on his back. And well, for victory, one, they, right? they weren't uh, four or five games worth one possession, Jay. Jeez. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? It's It's got to be a full team effort, man. And I think that's that, that's the thing is, okay, Jackson Arnold could play great, but is the offensive line going to be great? We got to find out. I don't out. know, Jay. We'll Nobody find knows. out. Nobody knows. We'll, we'll find, find out. out. Is the defense going to be great? We'll find out. They can be. We'll find out. Don't know if they will be. We'll find out. Those are all hypothetical. Well, I guess let's just not do another live for until uh, opening the game. First, what one. are you talking about? No, no reason to talk about it because we'll find out. Just wait. No, guys. Just I didn't wait. say you can't talk about it. Just don't come at me when I say something. Don't come at me with hypothetical. I didn't have a hypothetical. I had a statement. Jeez. You had a hypothetical. Jeez. You need to learn what hypotheticals are. Hey, Moosehead. I agree. I think the defense will be great. Now, we don't I, – I think the jury's out still. I think everything's trending that it will be. And I think if it will be, that's going to lead to OU being 10-2 and two or maybe 9-3 and three at worst. But the defense has to be really good. I think most of us OU fans would be fooling ourselves if we think they're going to have a great year without a defense being really good. I don't think that can happen. I think, I think you have to have a really good defense. Have to. This year. Jay, if they're not, I, I've said top 25. Look, it, it's going to be bad if they're not. There's no reason they can't be, Jay. I, 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 again, give me a reason they can't be top 25. They, they should be. I don't want to go through this every hey. single time. but 
a great guy. Uh, baseball, SEC, the SEC is way better. In baseball and softball, they're way better than the Big 12. It's not even close. They're, they're, they're just miles ahead of the Big 12 in baseball and softball. Chuck, you're right. The defense is going to be better than last year. Facts. Chuck, I didn't say it wouldn't be. I'm just saying, got to see it, right? They well, we listen, have to they see it, but I think last year. Big, listen, they improved last year big time. They should improve again this year. They, they should. should make that improvement. Absolutely. I got a weird shadow there. Hey, hit the like finger, Mars says, please. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, hit the like. I, I think – the defense, we've talked about it before. It's all hinged on the defensive line. Absolutely. Uh, Sooner Cowboy says, uh, if OU's defense ain't top 30, BB and staff ain't doing something right. And I think that's truth, Sooner Cowboys. You're speaking truth right there. If they're not top 30, something's not right. They got the guys to do it. Or, or, yeah, I think, well, there's no or. There is no or. That's period. They got the guys to do it. Look at the guys they got returning. Danny Stutzman. Without his injury, he might have been a Butkus finalist. Uh, Billy Absolutely, Bowman. Absolutely, Jay. Billy Bowman. Hey. I mean, hey uh, I can't deny that those guys are really good. R. Moosehead, appreciate you subscribing. Alan Woody, I've been in uh, your area, Columbia, Missouri, visiting the in-laws. We've beaten Culver's two or three times. Hey, real quick, Gray God, I love, love, love that you put Mez slash Woody because I think Mez, I think I'm excited. Very excited. And I think Woody's moving inside more this year, and I'm excited to see that. You're muted. I don't know if we'll know until we see some things. I, look, yeah, th there's definitely some possibilities they can do, they can roll with. Rumor is Woody's at Nickelback now. Yeah, he's wanting if, to move if, inside. So. Jay, and if he does, if he does, you would have to think that if he's at Nickelback now, then Dolby's full-time Cheetah. That, that would be the that would be the progression there. Where are they going to put Peyton? Backup safety, Jay. Has to be the backup safety. Why not starting safety? Because I think RSJ starts. I think I think jury's out on who's going to play safety. I mean, other than yeah, it, it is a that that's it's it's a very weird deal. I don't even like talking about the cheated position. Uh, it just depends on what defense they're playing, really. There's gonna be deep times where you don't you have more defensive backs in there. Than you do uh, linebacker. I mean, it just depends. So I, I don't think you can really say who's going to play exactly what position. Uh, uh, sooner or later. Right? Hey, Jay, you Jason know we takes, differ on this. Jay takes Kip Lewis. I take Canick. That's the way it is. Correct. Right now, I'm taking Kip Lewis until I see Canick perform on the field better than he did last year. Yeah, I think Andrew Lewis was was too good think, last year. I think Andrew Anthony's going to be ready to go. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, competitive death, baby. There's the word, baby. There it is. Uh, yeah, he was big time cornerback in JUCO. That's hey Jay. That's what he played. Is, the thing is, the competitive depth under Brent Venables has been sitting on a statue. The sideline hasn't been used this year. They got to use the competitive depth. Period. Ooh, the jackal position. That'd be kind of cool. Cheetah and jackal. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for that too, Mark. Uh, that's one of the. I, I I'm excited to watch Jackson Arnold. I am in a in a game where he's actually had to prep for the game. He knows he's starting longer than whatever he's been with Seth Latrell, not for three weeks like he was in the bowl game. I'm interested to see how he does. I, I think he'll start off good. I think of a good year. My my only concern with Jackson Arnold would be turnovers. That would be it because he's a young quarterback. That's it. He's 
going to happen, Jay. Uh, you're going to have to live with them, I think, early. But it, it's going to very much be outweighed by the uh, phenomenal play that he makes uh, time and time again. Burks is – if you haven't seen Burks lately, his arms, massive. Dude is, dude is physical, I think. Hey, and then I, I forget who said it on here, Jay. Uh, I see Zayden talking about no defense, probably talking about for Caleb Williams. Uh, Eric did say that elite at turnovers, but you can't count on being top three in the country. I, I don't know that they'll be top three in turnovers, but I think the other part, the things that you're putting as concerns, I think are going to be uh, much better than last year. My hey, opinion. Roscoe, SEC championship game, OU Georgia, get some. I want that all day long. I would love it. That is some great positivity there roscoe Moosehead. that would be awesome how awesome Moosehead. would it be for oklahoma how awesome would it be for oklahoma first year in the s you know what i think would actually be hilarious ou versus texas sec championship game that's actually what i'm rooting for the, the great thing about the sec title game jay is it's not a must win uh but it'd be huge to get the buy hey Moosehead, i'm curious on what you've noticed about Seth Luttrell, because I watched a lot of his tape from uh, North Texas and Arizona. I see a lot more double tight end sets. I see a lot more pulling guards. Uh, those are two things that excite me. Curious what you thought. On who? Seth Luttrell. What, what about him? The offenses that he's run in the past. Uh, we'll see what he does in Oklahoma and if he uses the same thing. I think he's kind of uh, – I think he's changed a little bit probably since he used to call plays. I think he's probably added a little bit more to his repertoire. So I don't know how much of it – and it, listen, every good coach will change it a little bit based on your personnel. And I, that's what I'm interested to see what he does. Because hey, if you don't have personnel to run certain things, you don't run it. And you got to go to what you have. That's correct, Jay. Hey, did did Levy pull guards? Yes, two or three times, and they scored touchdowns, and he didn't keep going to it. I saw somebody ask something about if Burks is so good, why was he at Purdue? Hey, there's a lot of great players that go to the NFL from not top five programs, okay? So I don't think you can really say that because there's plenty of dudes that play from teams like Purdue, so – well, hey, give me an update on the score of that James Madison game. One thing about one thing about Seth Latrell is I think he's definitely more smash mouth than Jeff Levy was. Okay. And the other thing is, uh, well, Moosehead says, I saw a breakdown video on his offense. Tight ends are going to be a feature to set up the passing game. Blocking would give the quarterback time for the deep route to develop. Yeah, so that's that's all good. Those are all good things uh, from Jeff Yeah, Levy. perfect example, yeah. Drew Brees. Drew Brees played at Purdue. Hey, PJ. Exactly. PJ looks really, really good. Yeah, I remember Jalen Saunders and Hollywood Brown. Jeremy, what number? Jalen Saunders. Jalen Saunders wore two different numbers. One was 18. Eight. Eight. I believe he wore 18 one year as well. Uh, it was eight. And Hollywood it's Brown. Yeah, what, what, what about those two guys, Jay? What was the comment? Uh, well, I think both of those guys, the yards after the catch. I mean, they got. Hey, Jay, I'll give you a guy. I'll give you a guy who is really underrated. Joaquin Iglesias. Yeah, number nine. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Danny O. I'm excited to see Danny O. Gary, uh, D.D. Westbrook. I mean, there's a lot of guys. They've had a lot that have done really good with the ball uh, in their hands, and. and yeah, Sa Saunders is a really good punt returner. We haven't even talked about that. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying, Eric. Yeah, I believe Jalen Saunders was out of Fresno. Uh, transfer Fresno, Fresno State. State Fresno State. I believe. Hollywood, um, Brown was, then, uh, Hollywood Brown was like a, a sack at a grocery store. Uh, wasn't he? Out of a community college, wasn't even playing football. No, you went and got him. Am I wrong on that, Jay? Uh, I know it was smaller – yeah, I don't like he I don't was, know about he was that. barely even in football still and 
I, I would have to look that up again, Jay, but I, it was something similar to that. I agree okay. with that, Mark. I, yeah, I want to see what they're looking at, too. Uh, that's what I want to see. Yes, absolutely. And, we can and talk right all now, everybody, want. listen, everybody on here is basing their opinions off of what you hear on either like Gabe Eichert and Teddy Lehman, what the media says, because nobody's seen like Burks. Yeah. You could watch his tape from Purdue. You haven't seen him at Oklahoma. You know what I mean? So it's all, and that's what, that's great thing about football and off season is that it is freaking March 22nd. We're in the middle of the NCAA tournament and we're doing a whole live show, mainly talking about OU football. It's a monster. It's great. And I'm excited for it, man. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. Switch gears real quick. Uh, who gets to start tomorrow? Kirsten Deal? I, that's who I think it is. Kirsten Deal, I think, starts tomorrow. Now, if they go double header, then uh, they're obviously going to throw Deal in May. Well, Colton Bester had a great game against Alabama. Yeah, but other than that, he didn't do a whole lot at OU. Didn't do a lot, Jay. Didn't do a lot. Who? who maybe we close it with this question. Hey, I, I'm with Sunya Legends, though. Why can't we get anything from Zach Alley? Yeah, I'd like to hear from him. I would. Tinker, Tinker Owens, was he – Tinker – one of those guys was out of Ponca City. That may have been the Collins. Uh, Steve – Tinker Owens was great, though. Yeah, doubleheader. Uh, Collins said it has been finalized. So, okay, uh, just wait until finalized. the haters – the channel during the regular season to cry. We had him last year. Hey, we said, "Hey, bring it!" I can't bring it. wait till the regular season when we get really into the games and stuff. It's going to be some great live chats every night. That's for sure. College of the Canyons, Hollywood, that's it. Hollywood, and Hollywood. Hey, that's it. T Moses says he likes that we don't hear from Alex. Hey, let's end it with this question. We have three minutes, and I'd like to know y'all's answer. Everybody drop one person. I don't want multiple names in here. I want every person to drop one name. The most underrated Oklahoma wide receiver. Did you say overrated? Underrated. Hey, Jay, who was who was this guy? Because I vaguely remember this. Oh. I cannot think of it, man. Eric, oh, that's going to bug me that I can't think of it. When Somebody's I hear the name, know. somebody's going to know it. So, most underrated of all time. Mez says Mez Marvin, Marvin Mims. Mims. I think he was pretty highly, highly uh, favored. I don't know that he was underrated. Trademark. Steels or Saunders, Greg God says. Drake Stoops. I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you one right now. First name, Ryan. I'm going to give you one, Jay. They're talking about the rap song. I don't know who, who it was. Jay, uh, a national championship receiver, Curtis Fagan. Fagan. I think Curtis Fagan and Antoine Savage were really good. Uh, I don't think. I mean, they were good. I don't think they were underrated. I think they were rated about right. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Seth McGowan, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Who'd you have, Jay? I didn't hear yours. I haven't said mine yet. Let's hear it. Sooner Legends going with Damian. Ma there it is, Josh Jarbo. That's the answer. Josh Jarbo. That's it. That's the one about the rap song. Thanks, Bobby. Appreciate it. I knew somebody would know that. Uh, I would probably go with underrated. I think I'd go Kenny Steele's. I think Kenny Stills was underrated. Kenny Stills under – hey, here's another, Jay. What about Travis Wilson? Hunter says Lee Morris. Now, Lee Morris had a great last year at Oklahoma. Hey, what about Travis Wilson, Jay? Harry Taylor says Shep. Uh, Travis Wilson, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Um, hey, so, man, hey, let, let's – Let's wrap this up right now. Softball is going to have a doubleheader tomorrow. Uh, Colin has Jeff Bidette. Jeff Bidette was pretty good. Colin said it is official that it is going to be a doubleheader tomorrow. So uh, we will be on uh, tomorrow night, as always, Saturday night, 930. Uh, thanks so much. It's been a fun chat tonight talking former. Ooh, there's stuff. a good one, though. There's a good one. Future, Mark he was from, PJ Mills is from Enid. 
Mark Bradley was really good, except for that USC game. Uh, but, hey, appreciate you guys joining us tonight. 9.30 tomorrow night. We'll see you back. Boomer. Sooner.